Sam from Sue's Dog Rock Life Garden. Today is the 23rd of September 2024. It's 20 past four. I have been cleaning the kitchen with my partner all day. We've been doing that. We had a balustrade guy come round to um, measure up and all that. So that's done. So that'll be on. We'll find out how much that's going to cost. Anyway, so all things are happening. Oh, I just noticed. Look at this. Okay, so that is the, hold on, right, that's the radish and that's the lettuce. Oh, look at this, I want to show you this. Since the other day when I put these in, let me just show you. So these are the lettuce, the mixed lettuce, and these are the radish, the sparkler. Look, they're starting to grow. Lucky I didn't put too, make them too wet. Anyway, I just spotted those. Anyway, anything else growing at the minute? No, oh, hold on. We've got an all year round lettuce trying to grow there. Might have to just give them a touch of water. Uh, in here, oh, there's something. Mizuna. Yep, Mizuna starting. Well, hey. Yeah, they just need a little, a little dribble. In here. No, they're the carrots, they're not growing yet. Uh -huh. Anything in here growing yet? There is broccoli rub. Look. <laughs> I planted so many seeds because I'm going to plant them in clumps, not in individual, you know, not individual plants. Uh, in here, oh, there's something happening. <gasps> Look. This is the American spinach. I wonder if that's actually going to grow this year, this time. In here, what do we have growing? Oh, we have a celery. Oh, it's good. Hopefully that's a celery and not a stray seed that got caught in there. And in here are the cauliflower Romanesco, nothing going on there yet. But I'm really happy. There's a lot of germination already started. I only planted these, sowed these last week on the 18th yeah on the 18th so that's like very short space of time anyway we've been getting loads of tomatoes i can just spot another one there tomatoes galore there's some more there just i can see ripened great and we do have a couple of um yeah look can you see that that is a that is a plum tomato but look at all these tomatoes I just picked. Well, hey! Whoa! That's amazing. Hey, great. <laughs> oh, what's going on here? What's going on here? Oh dear, what's happening here? Is that a slug in here? Is that a slug in here? Something eating round the... Oh, we'll have to examine these. Yeah, I did plant those others in the garden and they're all right at the moment. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do right now... Oh, can you see what I can see? Is it what I think it is? I think it is. Is that on the inside or the outside? That's on the outside. Look at that great big slug there. Look at that, it's all dirty now. I have to clean this again. Oh, grimy. And when I take this stuff out, I'll give the inside of the polytunnel another clean. Oh, what's going on in here? We seem to have some... I don't know what these seedlings are. It must be weeds. Anyway, oh, these aren't... Oh, look, that's growing. That, that there, there. It's growing. Yeah, I've got to take these indoors, haven't I? Well, the weather's not too bad at the moment, so we won't do it at the moment. I wanted to take them indoors before this, um, you know, it got too cold in the evenings. Anyway, we're going to do this. We're going to put our seeds in down here, our broccoli, beetroot, what I said I was going to do the other day. And I'm going to try and dig out the anemones while I'm in there. And then I might go and do a bit of strimming around the other side. So, oh, look, there's a, there's a um, flower on that tomato plant. Oh, look. Oh, 
Wow. Oh, I just need one tomato of these. Oh, please, 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 please. Look how different they are. The tomato flowers are absolutely different. Come on. Yes. Please. Please, please, please. <sighs> I just, I said that. I only need one tomato on this plant. Oh, let's hope it goes. Turns into a tomato so I can collect the seeds. Anyway, I'm going to get on it's and do this. five now. And I sorted out this bed underneath and I have planted three rows of beetroot. Anyway, under there, I tidied it up. I couldn't find many of the anemones, actually. But, um, so I had not couldn't dig them up, really. So anyway, there are three rows of beetroot in there. Bolt hardy, bolt hardy, or whatever it's bloody called. Bolt hardy, or whatever it is, I don't know. And I watered these. And I watered the geraniums there, and I've watered one of the hanging baskets. I've watered these, I gave them some phosphogen. So I thought they might need a bit of a feed, especially the fig, and the apples, and the rhubarb. And, if you look there, there's a delphinium. Look at that! And there's um, some mizuna flower in there. And a Welsh poppy. So there are still flowers. Anyway... I just need to sort out these cabbages. I need to find out if there's something attacking them. And I'm going to pick up the bucket and put it on here. And I'm going to have a look. And see if there's some cat pillars or wherever the slugs are hiding. Something is attacking my red cabbages in this bucket. It looks like slugs. But we're going to find the culprit. So I'm going to do this in a minute. And if I find a culprit, I will show you. Okay. Here is the culprit. He was on the underside of one of the leaves. You don't need many slugs to cause a problem. He's not very big. He's only a little weeny one. So we're going to go and fry him into the field. Okay. But I've taken off all the lower leaves. And I've felt all the leaves. I've looked under all the buckets and the two pots that were next to it to check that there was no others. I can't find any others. I've wiped all the leaves and I've checked them checked the stems um, for caterpillars and stuff because usually the caterpillars are in the middle right on the stem but there are none so that should be alright now we're going to leave it up here so we can keep an eye on it but that's the culprit there there he is ok we're going to just fry him outside now ok let's get hold of him it's only little tiny little thing but they cause damage oh, I could put him in here and throw this all in the field couldn't I well I'm on my pile that I've got around the side I'm going to do that anyway I took off all them leaves so it's better now so that's that job done Sorted so out these do. wallflowers the ones that I took cuttings and I've tested them all because the way you test them is you just pull on them and if they stay in then they've got roots and if they don't stay in, sorry my thumbs anyway, then they haven't got roots. So all these ones have got roots. So this is good. So we've got all these plants from them cuttings. Um, I could take some more cuttings, couldn't I? We've got some more wallflowers here. I could take some more before these go over. Actually they don't go over. They stay all year. Anyway, they're the cuttings that didn't root. So I've taken them out. Um, over here, yeah, here are the pots that I took some of them out of. And these are the swede. I've put them over here because they're a bit floppy. So I just need to keep an eye on those. So I'll just put them there. I think I've had enough today, to tell you the truth. Because I have been cleaning today <laughs> indoors. Um... Yeah, let me just turn. Um, we finished work at five, so we try and work like a normal day's work at the moment. So we sort of start at between nine and ten, and we finish at five, and we break for lunch, and then we have tea breaks, obviously. But we try and work so that because Simon's off, off, uh, you know, like his um, design work at the moment. He wants to concentrate on this place because we want to open it next year, and we have to work at it this year to. For it to be open next year so we've got a lot of work to do 
and what we're doing both of us at the moment is doing the kitchen and then we're going to do the back bar um and then we're going to do so the back so the kitchen the back bar oh got bits in here and then i just wanted to, to to spruce up the breakfast room and the um the restaurant um yeah and we're having the balustrade done and it will be done this year so i'm really happy that we're actually going to get it done this year because i wasn't sure the guy come around today I told you that already don't keep repeating yourself so anyway so I'm, I'm done for today i think i've done enough and i don't like to half kill myself simon's doing the dinner he's making beef burgers today and we um yeah so he's making a dinner today because i've been making a dinner every day we have to sort of tidy up the kitchen to make room to tip for the dinner i mean yeah we've we're spring cleaning the whole kitchen not all at once we're working our way around the kitchen plus we're cleaning the ceiling all the walls all the stainless steel all the units every more thing in the kitchen is getting cleaned so that's what we're doing right now so still quite a lot to do in the kitchen because i've got a um yeah, I've done all under the sink today. That was quite hard work. Like taking the stainless steel. Well, you don't need to know this anyway. I will show you once it's done because it looks lovely. It's starting to look really spruced up and lovely. Anyway, it's an easy kitchen to clean because it's stainless steel mainly. Plastic and tiles. It's not really hard work. But it is hard work if you're not. Oh, shut up. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please give me a like and a thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I have to come out in the garden. I have to stress this. I have to come out in the garden. It, when I'm indoors doing work, I have to come out and uh, do something because I have to be at one with nature because I absolutely love the location. And I can't stand being indoors all day. So it makes me feel so much better even if I just come out for 20 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, however long I can just to come in and do something in the polytunnel if it's if it's raining i come in the polytunnel if it's not raining i go outside but i don't want to get engrossed in too much and i wanted to plant so that um beetroot today and i'm glad it came in because of the cabbages i wanted to sort them out with the little slug so anyway and i've also got a flower on my heritage tomato so i could try nurturing that one tomato plant i could take it indoors um if the weather's going to get cold so at the moment it's not that cold in the evenings but if it is going to be i think i will pot it on into a bigger pot and i will try and grow it on indoors and nurture it and so like so it don't get cold and see if i can get that one flower to germinate i don't know if it is i can't see any insects i don't know where all the bees have gone they were all out the other day now they've all disappeared again anyway thank you for watching please give me a like and thumbs up hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you again soon in the next video i hope you enjoyed my car video that i made because we went to the um the mac car run which is every year in mac kenfleth where we live and i thought i would just um video it so it was great fun to see all the lovely cars anyway thank you for watching see you again soon bye for now bye